everybody, it's Jeff from Rick Robotics and today I'm actually going to be checking out a new video that Tronxy just asked me to watch and review for you guys. They are coming out with a new printer again and it is the XY2 Pro and I just received my XY2, unboxed it and built it, assembled it, tested it. You can check the review out right here. Um, I'm really happy with that printer so far, but now they're actually coming out with the XY2 Pro, and they asked me to check this out and give uh, my first thoughts about it. So what I'm gonna do today is watch this video. It's about a minute long, and it's their uh, promo video, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and watch it together. All right, so here we go. Proxy XY2 Pro. Print size 255, 255 by 260. Touch screen 4040 aluminum. That's twice as big as the other ones. Fiberglass board and sticker. Power supply is definitely in a different place. Oh, and it's 24 volts. Single cable, that's an improvement. You can tell that this build plate um, is actually removable because they have the alligator clips on them. So that's holding it down to the, the heat bed. That print looks all right. It's definitely a colorful printer. I like the blue. All right. Well, that's it. Um, <laughs> it was a very quick video. Okay, so we're gonna watch the video one more time and I'm gonna pause it and give my commentary on it this time and that way I can let you know my thoughts. All right, so first on the specs, this does look a little bit bigger than the XY2. It's got a printing size of 255 by 255 by 260 millimeters. And I believe the XY2 is 220 by 220 by 250, I think. So it is a little bit bigger in build volume. The print speed is two to 100 millimeters per second. And honestly, I don't think I know anybody that's ever tried printing at two millimeters per second, but I, I think that just shows the range and that's fine. The print thickness is 0.4 millimeters. And I'm not really sure, but I think that the, uh, the XY2 was at 0.2, so I'm not sure if, if that's accurate or if that just means that that's the nozzle that they're using. Um, that's not really clear, but it says that's the thickness. The input power is 110 to 220 volts. That's, that's common. That's a regular American AC. And the uh, power output is 24 volts, 360 watts. And that is a difference for the rest of the Tronxy printers that I've used. Most of them are 12 volts. So in theory, that should mean that it should make the temperature benchmarks a little bit faster. Uh, the maximum heat bed temperature is, two, is 120 degrees, and that would be Celsius. And the nozzle temperature is 260 degrees. That means it should be capable of printing things like ABS and nylon, any material that requires a higher temperature than PLA. So I'm noticing also here that the power supply has changed positions. Um, generally, it was vertical on the side, and that goes with the P802 series and the XY2. This is hidden underneath the build surface, which is uh, kind of neat because it's hiding everything, and the 40 by 40 extrusion also gives it that extra depth so that the power supply will sit pretty comfortably under there. The next thing I'm also noticing here is the 3.5 uh, touch screen 
and that is the same general size as the XY2. However, this looks a lot thinner. It looks maybe to be about 20 millimeters thick, while the XY2 is probably 45 or so, so almost half as, as thin as far as a profile. So a much slimmer design, it looks nice. We just talked about the 4040 aluminum. The fiberglass board and sticker, and that's really neat. You can tell, like I said earlier, that it uses the little alligator clips to hold that on, so that does look like a removable surface. Hopefully that will stick really well while it's printing and then just bend and pop right off once it's done printing, so that will be a neat feature to experiment with. The integrated protection on the main board that has that in the uh, Tronxy XY2 as well. That is uh, basically if the power goes out then it should be able to resume or maybe it just has a lot of diode protection as well to prevent over voltage or over current. And again that 24 volt power supply is featured here. And there it is, the big feature right there, a single cable design. Um, that is awesome. Now that has been one of my biggest pet peeves, not just for the Tronxy printers, but for other printers that I've tried to put together as well. The cable management is, is just irritating. It takes a long time to get everything just straightened out right and looking nice. And most of the time it still looks a uh, little skittish. So having just a nice, slim down a single cable design is an excellent choice by them and I think they've really taken some customer feedback into account when they've redesigned this model so I'm really impressed with that. Alright so now we're looking at the printing here and it, you know it looks nice but it, I think it's printed here it looks like in vase mode so a lot of things come out really nice in vase mode and obviously they've tried to put their best foot forward like I said before so that's uh, that's nothing really special hopefully it will print well when you're trying to test it and here's just the model it's holding some water um, a lot of printers can do that so I think that really needs a, a true test before we can tell if it's if all of the prints are going to turn out that way the one thing that they really didn't touch on is if they had fix the squeaky roller problem. Now obviously that was a problem in my printer and I've seen that in other reviews as well. So hopefully they've also taken into consideration that and either upgraded the quality of the rollers or at least figured out how to calibrate them a little bit better so that that squeakiness is gone. Otherwise, this looks like an excellent printer to try out and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'm hoping that I can find the finances to purchase one of these. It looks really interesting and it definitely even looks like an upgrade from the XY2. It starts on Amazon at about $249. I'm leaving a product link in the description below. These are not available to buy just yet, but they are on pre-order. So if you wanted to check that out, feel free to check that out in the description. And like I said guys, this is just a review of a promotion, so not a whole lot of information in here, but I am hoping to at least catch a couple reviews on this as time goes on and the printers are released. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like my video, give me a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please support my channel by clicking that subscribe button. I'd like to thank Tronxy again for reaching out to me and asking me to do a reaction video to this promotional video. So thanks again, and that is all that I have for today. We'll see you next time.